Hey everybody, it's John, it's Friday night, it's the weekend, yeah. Alright, new glasses, John yesterday. John today. Ooh. Eh. You work. John in the sunshine. John in the barn, right? Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Prescription. Safety glasses. Check it. With sweatband integrated. Oh, yeah. We're rocking. Floor. Relatively media free, huh? So, uh, thanks everyone for the suggestions on the uh, sandblaster. Um, as you can tell, I was right pissed off about the whole thing, but, uh, oh well. I think, uh, was it Sean? Yeah, Sean Velvet Hammer said, uh, you know, it's just it's the cold, you know. Might want to wait till spring. Or was it Greg Porter? Anyway, I appreciate all of your input, all of you guys. Um, so, yeah, you know. Took about 10 minutes last night and just hit it <clears throat> with the uh, oh, with the backup plan, you know? Yeah. Not plugged in. So, uh, yeah, I think I need to stick to electric tools until spring. You know, I mean, it's only two months. <laughs> only two months. <laughs> So, it won't be too bad. You know, I got some welding I can do and a lot of stripping that I can do with that. And then when it's warm enough, I'll bust out the blaster and then I'll be ready to paint the bottom. So, c'est la vie. Uh, you guys might be interested to, to know, uh, remember this guy? And hopefully this doesn't make Tom sad. But, uh, you know, I'm planning on cutting a bunch of parts off. In fact, this winter I'll be cutting some, hopefully. I haven't looked yet, but hopefully some uh, floorboard patches out of it. But uh, this will kind of be an interesting project in the future. I'm going to cut about here. At an angle. And that is going to... too dark to show you but that is going to get installed right up there it's too dark to show you but right up above that door I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, mount the front end of the car up there you know full grill and everything probably rusty because I like that kind um, with spotlights in place of the headlights and then that's going to be my uh, my lighting fixture uh -huh. so I'll get it mounted up there and uh, if you see that, that board going across I'll have bolts going through mounting to the back of my little fixture back here should be kinda of cool so uh, I probably won't do that for until spring or well, maybe even next winter. But it'll be a fun project when I get around to it. Um, so yeah, right now it's operation. Get this place cleaned up a little bit. And then kind of when I'm bored with cleaning, I'll go back to stripping. And when i bored with stripping, I'll go back to cleaning. I just, you know, I want to get this place uh, organized a bit. This is just, let me take you, you know what I mean? Just there's right here I got parts, parts all over on top of my mowers and parts and parts and parts. So I want to take all these parts and put them up here. I put those uh, pieces of plywood up there and my uh, my car's interior is already up there. But you know I haven't even used half of my space up there. I got all that space. So I'm going to take all these boxes of parts and stick them up there. Obviously the motor and stuff can't go up there, but 
I should be able to get this cleaned out quite a bit. Get those parts into upstock. A la John, Mr. John Carey. And you know, I mean, look at this. You know, there's wood. These are all wood scraps from my uh, my jig project and my workbench is a mess. You know. And by the way, thank you to uh, Ron for your suggestion. Um, it's not coming off right now. But uh, my taper, my uh, chuck, comes off the taper quite a bit. And he recommended heating up the chuck and then sticking it on there. That's a great idea. So My wheels, my uh, quarter and my fenders, and my other various body parts, my old... Uh, my old leaf springs inside my metal recycling bin. It's got to get cleaned up, guys. It's just ridiculous in here. Nothing else new going on, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, have a good weekend. Woohoo!